If your patient needs blood urgently, that means right now, otherwise they'll die, there is a special protocol to follow in which uncross-matched RBC units are transfused. This is also called emergency release. In general, there is no time to lose. So what should you do? First, get in contact with the lab and communicate clearly how urgent the transfusion is. Then, send them one specimen of currently drawn blood right away. Depending on how urgent the situation really is, that means how fast the patient needs blood, the lab will provide you with either group O uncross-matched blood units if there is no time to complete any typing tests, or blood type compatible but uncross-matched blood units if the clinical situation allows for a quick blood typing evaluation, which typically takes about 10 to 30 minutes. Whether the released units are rhesus D positive or negative depends on availability and institutional policies. However, young girls and women of childbearing age should always receive rhesus negative blood until their rhesus status is known. Following these rules, you will have chosen the blood type that has the least potential to do harm. However, using group O blood does not mean that the transfusion is completely safe. As you know, there are over 30 different blood groups and the patient could have allo antibodies to other blood group antigens that could react with the unit you give them. Following ABO mismatches, the most severe transfusion reactions are caused by allo antibodies against the rhesus, KEL, KIT, abbreviated JK, Duffy, abbreviated FY, Lutheran, and S blood group systems. Normally, you would uncover these allo antibodies in the antibody screen and eventually in the cross match. However, neither of these would be performed in this time sensitive situation. Nevertheless, it is an urgent, life threatening situation. You don't have time to be afraid. The best you can do is to choose the most compatible unit based on the information you do have. Although there is a chance your patient could develop a reaction to one of these other blood group antigens, the benefit of saving the patient's life by giving the blood transfusions will always be higher than the risks of adverse reactions due to this type of incompatibility. There are two more things you should remember to do before you start the emergency transfusion. First, remember that you must take a blood sample before starting any transfusion. This sample is very important. It allows the lab to type the patient's blood group Furthermore, it allows switching to group-specific cross-matched blood as soon as possible, and lastly, transfused, uncross-matched blood units can be retrospectively cross-matched with this sample. And in the case that potential incompatibilities are found, the patient will be monitored more closely. Second, be aware that in countries where bedside blood typing is obligatory, bedside tests should also be completed before performing emergency transfusions. Managing patients with life-threatening bleedings is definitely one of the most stressful situations in the hospital. My recommendations? Work with emergency release protocols. They will help you stay structured. And don't forget to talk to your lab. Good communication between clinicians at the bedside and the lab staff can save lives. So I hope you liked this video absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MedMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MedMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.